Man, it's a good thing I made two purchases and not just one. Killing me, man. Killing me. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Josh here with Josh's Lawn Landscape. I'm uh, going to get loaded up. And it's a little wet out. We got a really heavy rain last night. Um, rain till about 3 or so in the morning. 2 or 3 in the morning. Um, going down the secret path. Um, I feel like all my ice is melting. Them bottles is floating around back there in my cooler. It's cold enough. I think they'll last through today. It's only supposed to be about 60 degrees today for the high. Uh, so, a lot going on, uh, just got to pull up down here, get the trailer loaded up, um, I do have to, I'm going to put a set of blades on the Z, and then both mowers will have a new set of blades, uh, the ones I ordered for the Z came in yesterday, and, um, yeah, so, I'm going to hop out and get the trailer loaded up and hooked up and then pulled up here where I can start. Uh, get my blades put on the Z. So, uh, I've got the Predator blades is what I ordered for the Z. Um, they do really well on that mower uh, with the 7 iron deck. So, uh, let me get loaded up here. I'm looking at my backup camera here make sure I get it lined up right. We're going to hope that's right, so I'll be back. All right, so you can see I'm in the shop. Quick track. Uh, get it loaded up here shortly. It's got a brand new set of the Oregon uh, lift blades on it. Uh, it's a 91-622. Um, I think it would be the same size on, I think, a right uh, stander and maybe even the Skag. The same thing may, may even fit the uh, Skag. I think it's just different possibly on the center hole so uh here's the z you can see um i'm gonna have to move it because uh with all the rain last night some of it, it blows in and there is a little bit of a spot here where the water comes in so it's up under the mower just that little area so what i'll probably do is just start it up turn it this way where it's over this dry spot and i've got the um well you can kind of see them it's the Predator Blades. Um, Y'all seen them before. It's just the uh, the mulching blades that uh, normally run on the Z. Um, I have run the Oregon Blades, but uh, the Predator Blades seem to do very, very well with this uh, deck configuration on this mower. So um, I found a good deal on them. I've actually got some more. I'm probably going to order next week just because at the dealer they're about $26 a blade and I got a set of three for I think $36 and the next best deal I could find which I needed an odd set because I have one new blade over here um, kind of see it right there that really dark spot right above my finger um, I found a two pack for like $29 so I found some good deals on those on eBay. Um, the next best deal I got, I think it's like $38 or $39 for a set of three, which is still a really good deal. Because um, they're only like $13.50 a blade with tax or something like that. So I'll take that all day long. And these are really good blades. So um, One of my uh, backup blades for the... Uh, Quick track is here. This is the one I replaced the other day. So it's this one on the short side that just goes from here to the center pulley. Um, the one that goes from that pulley over to the middle and back to the PTO to the drive. Um, I've got ordered supposed to be here first of next week. So I have my uh, spare belts for the standard. So, um, so everything's gassed up. I stopped and got gas. Uh, Day before yesterday, I believe it was. Um, <clears throat> so I got that. Everything's full. Gas cans. Except for my mixed gas. It still had a pretty good bit in it. So I um, got all that stuff loaded up. I'm going to get this uh, blades put on this. And then uh, catch you when I get back in the truck.
All right, y'all, back in the truck. Um, yeah. So I got the blades put on the Z, not without <laughs> a slight scare. Um, but I got I got a new set of blades on. It's loaded up, ready to rock and roll. Everything's gassed up. So um, going over here to, it's actually quote unquote um, new property. Uh, one of the houses I had, oh, excuse me, a couple years ago. Uh, this is the uh, big property that uh, I went to look at a couple weeks ago that the one yard turned into a yard, a field, and another yard when I did the quote. So, um, messaged the customer yesterday just to let them know I'd be coming today. And so, I haven't heard anything back as to them not wanting it done. Um, it hasn't grown as much. But some of the roadside stuff and a couple of other things um, are sprouting up. So uh, gonna try to keep it looking consistent, clean. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do this morning. So right here on the end of the dirt road, y'all. Um, so my father-in-law um, was going to help me today. I don't know if if uh, if he'll make it out. Uh, he was dealing with some congestion and stuff it's just kind of been going around almost like a, a little bit of a cold uh, i'm not sure if that's all it was but maybe just be nasal congestion and, and whatnot but i know he uh was taking some medicine last night we'll see um haven't heard from him this morning but uh, he usually lets me know closer to lunchtime uh, if you know if he's gonna be able to make it out so um but we'll see I'll just, uh, you know, do what I can and and uh, knock it all, knock it all out best I can if it's just me. So, um, uh, I'm at a crossroads that's some people come flying through, so I got to make sure to uh, look both ways and make sure nobody's coming. Especially when I'm driving a train, you know, I got all the mowers and stuff hanging back there. <laughs> got to get my whistle for this thing so I can little cord up here so I can pull it when I'm about to pull out let everybody know I'm there but uh, real quick um, I'm gonna have to send two of the blades back um, that I just ordered this is why I was saying uh, in the intro that I'm glad I made two purchases and not just one um, well, they're home right now um, and the roadside is growing up a little bit. We'll see. They might just tell me to do the field and, and wait on the house uh, one more period. Um, I'm on schedule, so. Um, hmm. This one up here, not too bad. It's about an acre. So, see about getting it knocked out, knocked down, nice and clean. Um, it's funny, I, all this stuff was growing like crazy, and then cut it, or a bunch of it got cut, and then it got cold. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's grown up a little bit. Some stuff in the back, so. Uh, so it got cut, and then it got cold, and everything slowed down, so. Um, but I think after this weekend's gone, um, it's gonna start warming up. Uh, the nights will be on up into the mid 50s and, and stuff, uh, above 50s. And once that's pretty consistent, then um, it really gets going. So I uh, gotta get out and get this one knocked out. But what I was saying about the blades is I ordered um, a set of two and a set of three um, because I had the one blade from a previous order, like I mentioned a little while ago. And I'm in the parking spot so I can take my seatbelt off now, Mr. Gerald. <laughs> um, but so anyway, I went to put the blades on a while ago and two of the blades were not the same blade. And the only difference is the, the length is the same. It's for a 54 inch deck. Um, but the center hole was different. And I guess I had grabbed one of the two. Well, when I went to put one of those blades on, 
it would not go over uh there's a lip on the spindle that the blade slides over and then the bolt goes over it well the center hole would not go over that lip that the bolt screws into on the spindle so i got to looking and the blade number for that mower for the predator blades <coughs> is a excuse me a b1 pd 5039 um the blade that or the the two blades that are odd are a b1 pd 5054 which is for a 54 inch deck but the center like i said the center hole is different so it will not fit on that mower um so i've got those two set aside in the shop i'll just contact the seller and let them know hey <clears throat> this is not the blade that i ordered um I don't know, maybe there was just a mix-up in the shipment of it. And uh, see about, I guess, getting a refund or if they can send me the right blades with a return label and I'll send these two back. So that's why I say it's a good thing I ordered the three blades because <laughs> I would have had to take time to sharpen the set and put on had the other ones not been right. So, But got good new blades on it. And, uh, yeah, so... That's what's going on today. Um, don't know if I'll get any. I may get a little bit of real time footage in the, in the front of this yard. We'll see. And uh, then try to get some other footage throughout the day. So we'll see how it goes. Um, heck, I may get in a groove and forget to film anything and not even have a video. <laughs> but we'll see. Y'all stick around. All right, y'all. Real quick again, here I go, running my mouth, because I keep forgetting to say certain stuff. Uh, it's no big deal, but uh, Mr. Gerald, once again, got that coffee. Got to have the coffee. Got to start the day off right. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, it's like Christmas time. You know, got the belt, got the blades, all that good stuff. And, let me show you this. Got some new kicks, man. Uh, these are the Merrill Moab 2. Uh, same thing I had before, uh, except these are the mids, so they have a little higher ankle. And, um, oh, that's a big, big truck coming out of there. So, I've had the other ones about two years. Uh, the tread's getting close, basically slick on the balls of the feet. Um, some of the stitching and stuff's coming apart. So uh, I figured it was time to go ahead and get me a new set. Uh, they were really comfortable, so I just figured i uh, get the same ones. So picked a good day to break them in. It's nice and wet, so everything's going to stick really good to the brand new shoes. But uh, hey, they're for work. That's what they're for. Get them dirty. Shows I did something. Uh, so going to get at it. Y'all stick around.
at y'all. There's the field all the way up to the over to the fence. All the way down over to that fence right there. Down to the road. Here's the yard. Back that way. And out here by the road down to the bridge and right here uh, about two-thirds of the way up that way so be back all right y'all it's a day full no more footage so sorry uh hopefully y'all enjoyed the little bit of real-time footage i got and then the finished footage from the field and that yard uh where i was pulling out the driveway um the field the yard and the first yard where I got the real-time footage at, uh, those three properties are seven and a half acres. Seven, seven and a half, seven point six something. Um, so right in that neighborhood. And I came back by the house. Um, and I did go back and do one small yard. Uh, knocked it out but my oldest daughter actually went with me so that was an adventure she did a little bit of weed eating kind of learning how to use it and um she did a little test driving on the quick track so she's not the biggest fan of that as she is of the z track so um she said it's a little too jerky <laughs> but um that was an adventure so she went and uh kind of dipped her toes in a little bit uh it's been a little while since she's gone out with me to do uh some yard work so that was fun and um oh i did get to do the um you can see i got the new uh coil assembly on the 94r well the one um the other one thought i had it fixed and adjusted the spring but it's just so wore out it's, it keeps wanting to jump out and it doesn't want to recoil so i had already bought that in case i needed it so I went on ahead and put it on today. It's working like a champ. Um, so, yeah. Nice eventful day. Um, got plenty coming down the road. Uh, pine straw, pruning, uh, bed cleanups. Or I say cleanups. Just trimming them down and spraying them. Um, Another pine. I got a landscaping install coming up. I'll try to get a little bit of footage off of that one. Don't know how much I'll get, but um, hopefully I'll get some on that. And I've also got an irrigation job that I've looked at. I got to get the final quote together and send it over to that gentleman as well. So, um, and I also picked up a new yard uh, yesterday after work. A lady had called me the day before. But I did not. I wasn't able to get back to her till yesterday. She said, "Just come on by and take a look at it." And so, um, took a look at that one and gave her a price. And she actually said, "I paid more to do it." Um, and I said, "Well, I'm good with that price." Um, she said, "You know, you can't do it for that." And she said, uh, you got you got to have a little more for that. She said, I've paid. She gave me a number. Or she actually gave me two different numbers. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. How about um, if, if you, that's what you're comfortable with, we'll go right down the middle of those two numbers. And she said, deal. So I um, actually made a little more than I was going to quote on it. So that's cool. Um, so busy, busy, busy. Um actually got a couple other possible jobs as well so um <laughs> gonna have to get this stuff done but thankful for it 2023 is gonna be a big year uh again hopefully y'all enjoyed this video thank y'all for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so i'd appreciate it leave me a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts and um yeah so Good day. A couple of quick shout outs. Uh, Mr. Gerald over at Clean and Green. Uh, Buster over at New Hope Cuts. Uh, Buster, I hope you got your uh, blower working. Looking forward to finding out about that. Let me know. Um, uh, hopefully that one's working out for you. And um, 
Shout out to Ronaldo over at Big Sons. Uh, Jay and Christina over at Jay's Crazy Cuts. And uh, Jason and Haley over at American Lawn Specialist. Shout out to those guys. Haven't given them a, a shout out in a while. Uh, they're rocking and rolling also. Um, and just want to say thank you all to everybody, as always, for watching and supporting the channel. Um, as always, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.